Okay, now, before you actually joined the NBA, you had an Adidas sneaker deal worth $10 million? L- A little more than that. A little more yeah. than that. And you're 18 or 19 at the time? Um, 18, when, uh, 19 when I, when I got, the, got it, yeah. So you haven't even joined the NBA, and you got a eight-figure sneaker deal. Fact. What does that do to a teenager? Sheesh. For one, if you're 18, you don't understand. You don't understand. Right. You're not coming from a family of money that understands yeah. investments and everything else like that. And I don't even look at it in that aspect. Like, if I would tell a kid and he's 18 and he get whatever, 15, 20 million dollars, like, investments and all that is cool. But it's like, bro. You crack the cold. That's cold cracking. Everyone talk about investments and this and that, what to do with the money and do people know. Boy, you crack the cold. You got security. Mm-hmm. Figure, on, figure out how to protect the security in that. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're 18, you don't understand how 40-year-olds are feeling. You don't understand. You're not really into the real world. You didn't get to live yet where a lot of responsibilities are on you. And then to live, to have the mindset of, when you know, when, when your bills is paid and, you know, you can help people, et cetera, et cetera. You could buy a car, all that type of stuff. That didn't sink in, in my mind. Like, I was, what did you buy with that first check? My first check? First check. My first check, I bought my brother a car. That didn't make it to the to my brother 530 went to the draft. They didn't draft him, whatever, whatever. He was crying with to Steph on for two, three, four years for a car. Steph didn't want to buy him a car. And so my first soon I got two dollars, I went and bought him whatever car the new car was out at the time, six forty five. And okay. gave him and my I gave my mom some some money. My nice. mom and my dad some money. 